Hello and welcome to episode 38 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orient. We're not going to beat around the bush. Last couple of days have been difficult, you know, draining, but I'm here to entertain people and I will never take that for granted. How lucky I am to have a platform that puts a smile on people's faces. So we're going to try and power through it and have a great three games starting with Leighton Orion against Reading. I was going to make sure 99 plays here, but he's a little bit jaded, so Forrest does get the nod. We've started off recording this really late because it's took a lot of energy uh, to get here, but you know what? Make the most of it. Now, sometimes I treat the episodes like a bit of escapism. I really do hope the game doesn't mess me about. I just want to win with my boys. Here's Lucas Thompson. Out wide, John Paul Zabalis got the freedom of the entire stadium. That would have been a cracking start. No nonsense up there. Can Amit Panda win the header? Yes. Nanta Niner from left to right. This is Courtney Scott. Not bad. Locking on to Jean Paul Sabali, which is super confusing. The likes of Amit Panda, Ronnie Forrest, and Bobby Monk in the box all six foot plus seems like the wing backs go into the central spots far too often they need to hold the position and then i mean the center backs wouldn't need to cover them how has that gone in i mean i've put the block in there with lewis proctor shame that it's come to that really redden have scored the opening goal is it gonna be a very boring game of football if you've got that in mind i might as well sit here and read a book 24 minutes gone Short pass to Severin Colombo. I mean, if you can't control that, why are you even a professional footballer? We're in the championship, not the Moldovan fourth division. Take it away from danger. Lucas Thompson doesn't have much trouble ahead of him. We'll try and play that ball. Amit Panda, best first touch that he can make. It's a bottom corner finish. A quality assist, a quality goal. Fine all round play. We're back on level terms. Bobby Monk holding, holding, holding. Can try and drive into the box himself with the power that he possesses. I don't know why they always want to do it. It definitely wasn't the case in FIFA 21 where the wing backs would go central into a center back position as you're trying to drag a center back out because the wing back for some unknown reason is not defending properly. So you're left with a situation where you've got your two wing backs playing centre back and the two centre backs playing wing back. Maybe there's a player instruction that I don't know of. Reading are down to 10 men because of this challenge on Lucas Thompson. You can see why the referee has brought out the red card. Ronnie Forrest. Come on, just let that spin. So, so. There we go. Bobby Monk has to score that. Blasts it in top corner. Not a goalkeeper in the world was stopping that kind of ferocity. Is that even a word? I think so. I haven't got a dictionary next to me. I'm not a librarian. Good job as well. I'm too loud for that. Five goals in five matches. Oh, Courtney Scott, really? It's all up to Colombo. Hassan's in the center for no apparent reason. Courtney Scott cutting passing lanes. They have to go to the left-hand side. We've decided not to pick up this guy. He's just gliding into our box. And playing the ball across. Another one for Yasin Hassan to scratch his head at. Seriously, how would you get the wing backs to stay wide? 17 minutes to win this. A draw's not good enough, in my opinion. Yeah! Great sliding in tackle by big bad Bobby Monk. Fraser is denied by a huge save. Here comes the corner kick. Bobby Monk! Oh! Yes! How has that not gone in? Crept in. The spin looked like it could take it. There to hopefully put a standing tackle in. Oh, just the pressure. Bustamante can set off on the break. And how is that not a foul? Are we just allowed to push and pull, referee? Here we go. Come on, Sosa. Plenty of time. Across the body. Oh, boy. Come on, Bobby Monk. Is that true? Let's go! Even with some fingertips on the goalkeeper. It's gone in. Look at the suffering! Ah! Oh, it's massive by Bobby Monk, who's been defending from the front. Don't get Bobby Monk sent off, whatever you do. Full time, 3 2, late, and Orion! Sosa has just hit 73 overall. Godwin Orgy is 73 overall. His release close is 6.9 million. We need to get him for about six, and it's a reasonable offer. 
We are one step away from signing Godwin Orgy. He wants to be a crucial member of the team. I can only accept. Nah, give us four years of your service. No release clause. I'm gonna have to offer some kind of wage. I mean, I'll throw 15 grand at you per week. I don't mind. Just accept the contract. Godwin Orgy replaces Miguel Lozano for this season from the main menu, Nantanino. As your midfielder alongside Thompson. Make sure that's saved so I don't keep on forgetting. What I'm going to try and do. A lot of people might like this. Nantanino, defensive midfielder. Deep lying playmaker situation. Sosa's there as a centre mid. Orgy on the left. Monk, Panda, Sabali. That is sexual. West Bromwich Albion against Leighton Orient. Yes, it's a player debut. And also I worry what the neighbours are going to think when I scream orgy. Come on, Tembo, great save. It's not the boy who cried wolf, it's the man who screamed penis and orgy. Maybe they've just got used to it, I don't know. Standing tackle by Columbo, but it'll drop for Furlong. Was had troubles trying to stop orgy at the other end, but attack-wise, he might get uh, a better time of it. Tembo doesn't even lift up his arms to try and stop that headed shot. Hassan, careful, careful. Oh boy, here comes the key point, 2-0. That is shocking. Hassan needs to be pulled again. Moreno scored both goals. And Zanza's in to restore some kind of defensive structure. Less said about the first half, the better. We can play at a higher level than that. Bobby Monk points. It's a lovely one. Into the space. Maybe we can return the favour. I'm it, Pando. Great goal. Colombo was working as a sweeper almost sometimes. The last line of defence other than Tembo. I'm talking about Tembo, what a save. Yeah, again, just a bit too heavy. And it is going to get picked apart by a team that can pass this cleanly. Columbo. I don't know why he's ended up on the wing. Go on, Bobby Monk. Mendes is tired. He's knackered. Bobby Monk's got this chance. Takes his time. Sends it wide. What on earth was that? I have to watch this week in, week out with Manchester United as they get to the final third. They have no idea what to do. We've had a bit of that today. Holding it just outside the box. Not a single positive run. Moreno denied the hat trick. But Tembo's all over the place and it is 4-1. Full time. Garbage result. Garbage performance. We got dominated. And you see like Lewis Proctor getting a 5.7. It was shocking all the way around. It's not just Lewis Proctor. Everybody could have done a bit more there, including Godwin Orgy. I don't have a clue why I'm advancing per hour in the transfer window. Nothing is going to get done. I'm very happy with how the team's set up for their first championship season. It might be the only championship season that they need. Middlesbrough are in 24th, so this home match should be a nice and easy win. We'll drop Sabali for this one. A 1-2 between Amit Panda and Godwin Orgy. Off we go. That is some speed. Could play across. <laughs> Don't worry. Just take your time, Bobby Monk. Write poems, mate. Have a cup of tea. Uh, don't worry about putting the ball in the back of the net. Nah, it's chill, mate. Columbo's going to be knackered if he doesn't get the support he needs. Mate, Proctor's working as a lone centre-back because Columbo's having to travel so much distance. The fullbacks have no idea what they're doing. Not exactly playing like a bottom place team. Godwin Orgy sends it to Bobby Monk. We're kind of lucky that that didn't actually hit his arm. Columbo is carrying, man. It's a terrible foul. Maybe a red card, straight red card. We get another advantage. Orgy can't play a through ball. He's absolutely clattered and injured. Six million pounds just laying crushed on the floor. Cheers, guys. Go on, Nantanino, through the center, bang! I'm trying to make up a list of what Scott and Hassan have done right this episode. And I think there's one thing on that list recovery speed when they've made mistakes at least they've been quick enough to i guess be in the presence as scott allows this attacker to just drift past him and middlesbrough back in front even with the 10 men we've played like such a garbage team it's away against norwich oh no, this has got to be another red card how on earth has he survived that nantanine is the only one that's even looked like a footballer go on so so yes Five fouls by Middlesbrough players. This one's going to Nzanza to win the game. 
Someone has to find the back of the net. It's Nanta Nine up. He's been the heartbeat of this team today, but he's not made it happen. And that is two dropped points. Another case of the bottom team playing very well against the user. If I got my hands on the game, it would be one of the first things that I would fix. Sorting out the difficulty of the teams. If you are 24th place, you deserve to be crap. If you are top, you deserve to be good. It's not rocket science. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. Sorry that it's short. You know, I've got them personal problems that I need to sort out. But going silent with you guys and not uploading a video is not the right way to go about it. So I hope you can respect the effort levels that have gone into this. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right-hand side supporting me financially on Patreon. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Toodles. Sayonara.